multiple grade one winners Country Grammar and Life is Good are enjoying some R&R at Windstar Farm before they return to the track for their summer campaign. We spoke with Windstar Farm trainer Dustin Heath about the superstar duo. Country Grammar and Life is Good, you know, they have a very similar routine. They both train early in the morning. Um, I do that so they can go outside and have ample amount of time in the morning. They've arrived shortly after the Dubai World Cup. They were able to do their little mild quarantine at the Louisville, International Louisville at Churchill Downs. They've got a brand new quarantine facility, which is a change from years past. We were able to check on them while they were there and they've settled back into their normal routine and the normal stalls here been at Windstar. When they first arrived, we just kind of let them let their hair down, got them outside, got them in a grass pen, let them eat some grass, get some sunshine on their back and no breezes or anything like that. We've just been kind of letting them do their thing, keeping a little bit of fitness, but yet being a horse. Life is good is, is pretty special. He was, you know, he's part of our breaking program as a yearling and he's been in our program throughout. It's been a lot of fun to have him here. Uh, he was a star from day one. The crew at the breaking barn, Terry Arnold, he told me from day one, he was the best one in the bunch, which he was spot on with that. We've always been high on him and he's never really done anything wrong. We just kind of had to manage him to not go too fast in his early stages because that's what he wanted to do. Back as a four-year-old, he's a little bit more professional about things. He knows his job, he knows what to do. We've got him figured out now and he does it well and it just likes to go out and be a racehorse. Country Grammar uh, is a little bit different animal. He knows he's all man and you gotta kind of set your scenarios up every morning, the right riders, the right grooms. On the track, he's the consummate professional, never turns a hair, he'll stand out, he's quiet. He'll do what we ask him to do, and he really enjoys his job. Uh, outside turned out, he's a little bit more of a ham, and he's a little bit more animated. He bucks and plays and has a good time out there, but he's, he's definitely a little bit more of a handful on the ground than, than life as good is. The Dubai World Cup uh, race was, was a little bit surreal, but still very enjoyable. Um, and we all thought life as good was a cinch, and, Country Grammar coming through and winning the race was pretty special for us and the crew here at the training barn. And Country Grammar with his date with destiny in front a length and a half. Country Grammar won the Dubai World Cup. So to see him come on the big stage, um, a horse that's been in our program as a two-year-old and the unforeseen circumstances of Paul's passing and then come to fruition to win you know, the second richest race in the world was a lot of fun and, and very gratifying for the team here. The Incredible horses in the barn are, are pretty easy to have. You know, they know their job, they know their routine. A lot of fun, it's really enjoyable. Um, walk down the shed row and you see the likes of Country Grammar, Life is Good, Colonel Liam, Drain the Clock, American Revolution, uh, Corniche, all in the same barn, you know, relatively close together. It's pretty special to have horses of that caliber. Um, I know I never take a day for granted here and I know the crew doesn't either. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like or a comment and subscribe to our channel for more content from the TDN.